Howdy viewers, Arthmail here, back with part 15 of my Let's Play series. So this is with my Witch Doctor, participating in Season 3, and we're in Hardcore mode. Generally I don't play Hardcore, I'm just one of the normal characters, but we're giving it a shot. Uh, there's currently the third year anniversary buff on, which uh, lets you participate in the elusive cow level that doesn't exist. So we're going to go and do some bounties and see if we can find the cow goblin that actually creates the portal and leads us to the cow level that doesn't exist apparently. See how we go this time anyway. Definitely, um, I'm keeping it still on hard, uh, sorry, master at the moment, just because I still want to try and increase my XP. I know things are a lot harder to kill, but we'll give it a shot and see how we go. Our, um, <clears throat> our troops, like our fetishes and zombie dogs and all that are still helping out heaps, so... Hopefully they'll be able to keep things at bay long enough that I don't die. <laughs> at least not until I've reached level 70 anyway. <clears throat> For these shrines, I don't expect to be able to complete all the waves. But I'm going to give them a go. Even if I don't complete them, it still manages to achieve the bounty reward. So. Well, you never know. We seem to be doing okay at the moment. We reached another level. Can't complain. I'm just going to keep casting my Haunter and hopefully that'll jump from one to the next and eliminate them all quick enough. some time. Probably not. No. Didn't think we would, but that's okay. Let's go for a little wander around just to see if our mates here, our cow goblin. We'll just take a little wander, won't go too far. So I'm not sure how many people have already come across the, the new, or the anniversary cow level that I have on my normal character. I'm hoping to post a video up. I was playing with a mate on the weekend and um, managed to find it, which was pretty cool. Although, I've got to admit, I didn't get anything great. No great drops, but definitely had a lot of loot in there, that's for sure. Good way to build up some gold if you're running low on gold. Nice little classic, I suppose, back from the Diablo 2 days. For those that may not have played Diablo 2, the cow level was always something that everyone wanted to get into. Okay, so we don't have a goblin so far, but that's okay. We'll go to the next bounty and see what we can find. The Queen's Desert in the Caves of Aranea. <clears throat> don't mind this one, as long as I get some goblins in in the actual uh, cocoons, but lately I don't seem to be getting them. I seem to just get general other groups of elites or for some reason civilians or occasionally a cow, but not the cow we're after. Definitely a lot harder to kill things off. Oh, hello. Don't mind those though. And ceremonial knife. Which happens to be the one that lets you poison darts, I think, and lets your poison dart penetrate, I think, through more than one enemy. Let's see what's waiting in your cocoon. A goblin! Oh, we will be happy with that. 
Collect our crafting materials. Not too worried about gear at the moment, unless it's obviously a legendary. the next cocoon, two down. Still keeping our ear out for the our eyes and ears out for the cow goblin. Be nice if I could get it on this first video since the buffer became available a couple of days ago but recently. Spiders are not snakes. I'm not a big fan of snakes. <coughs> and we've got a civilian just hiding in a cocoon. Making his dash while he can. Definitely looking forward to some more legendary gear that can help my like, fetishes, particularly I can see this guy being a bit more of a pet witch doctor. Some more elites. great deal of damage and my survival, like my vitality and toughness is not too bad against all this stuff. Oh hello, we've got Guardian's Contingency. Another set plan. Actually, with this new weapon, if it's any good, the new legendary I found, I might actually change back to poison darts. Since I do prefer the poison darts for some reason. Oh, another set of lights. Oh, I reflect that and jump over. This could be fun. Oh, avoid all those fireballs as well. I was playing on the weekend and I seem to, I was, I think I was using, trying out a new build with my Crusader, trying out the Shield Bash version of Roland set, <coughs> and found that every single elite group I came across just happened to be Hordes, like there was like 15 or so of them, the Horde Athletes that makes them have a lot more, um, bystanders or whatever you want to call them. Oh, there's another goblin. Hello. 
I don't think you can get to the vault till you're level 70, but you never know. I could be wrong on that. Right. And we've got a bit of gear to pick up, which isn't good. And that's the end of this bounty. We'll go to the next one. Uh, head to the festering woods. Kill Galush Valdart. Sounds slightly European. Good thing is we've got a ping for him already, so that's one thing. Another level. Oh, there it is. Okay, we definitely got to ch check our skills and um, <coughs> our items again, I think. Need to kill off eight more baddies. And try and find a cow goblin. These guys will help pick up the numbers again. <coughs> Just go for a, oh, a little wander. Let's see what else we can find. Potential goblin. Okay, this size stuff's nasty. Luck with our cow for boom, but we never know. Just keep it on the pickle. <clears throat> Head towards the centre here a bit. See if anything shows up. Yeah, we'll kill these guys off and head on to the next bounty. It's not going to be in every bounty, I know. Like, it's going to just be, uh, spawn randomly, so... Actually, before we do that, we'll quickly go back to town, check our item, and assign our skill points, and go from there. Let's hope it's a better weapon, again. Uh, yep. Mana regen, mm, we can probably re-roll that for vitality, I think. I just noticed I've got no gems in either, that's pretty smart of me. Let's go and fix this up now while we can. Oh, I don't meet the artisan requirement. What is he? Level 7. 
I need to be level 8. Oh, we can fix that. Okay. Mm. Still think our amulet's better, but we do want to... Actually, I'll change the mana regen to a socket for sure, I think. And put in some gems while we're here, so... Let's go back to our stash. Put some of these things away. We'll get rid of that eventually. <coughs> So I'll probably want to go for some intelligence and life. So we'll put our life in our pants. And we'll go with intelligence in the other slots. Can't believe I actually ran that whole time with no gems on. Doofus. Let's see if she'll let us put in a socket. We can do this 12 times at the moment. Vitality is good. We'll stick on to the, some vitality. Maybe I should just stick with that for the time being. We're definitely going to go up more levels, so we'll be able to find better stuff. We'll stick with that. We'll go and get rid of these other two. And repair, and we'll just quickly check our skills. We'll definitely swap over. Oh, your poison darts and your fetishes poison darts now, Pierce. Well, my fetishes don't shoot them yet because I don't have the correct helm. But we will see. So we'll just go to probably... I do like snake to the face because it stuns things longer. Um, No, uh, we'll go with splinters to start with, see how we end up. So we've got a new rune for Grasp of the Dead. I think I like the one I've got on at the moment, so we'll stick with that. Healing journey, we won't worry about our zombie dogs. We'll stick to the, temp the chill to the bone version. What else got a new skill? Mass confusion. I'll leave that for the time being. Zombie charges. Okay. Okay, we'll stick with those for the time being. Head back out to Cemetery of the Forsaken. Let's see how we go this time. Definitely doing a lot more damage, so that's one thing. Helps when you've actually got gems in. As soon as I can find that helm that makes my fetishes shoot darts as well, we can aim for the poison dart build. I've done a video on one of my normal characters that actually uses that. It's um quite OP, especially once you reach some higher paragon and get the required legendary items to, to help you keep it going all the time. So the Zuni set as well as obviously this weapon and the helm that actually helps your dart, your sorry, your fetishes shoot darts at the same time you do. So I normally go and trigger each of the ends and then deal with the masses afterwards. <coughs> Get out of this slime. And that one's 
complete, but we might just go for a little wander a bit further up, see if there's any goblins around. Oh, we've got a legendary ring. Hello. Thank you very much. And we've got Justice Lantern. Well, it definitely replaces that one, even though I just socketed it, but we'll pop that on. We'll actually swap. No, oh, no, we'll leave them there. See how we go. I say that a lot. Got to try things out, you never know what might happen. That's another legendary plan, which we'll be happy with. Keep wandering just to see if the other ones are in. You never know. <coughs> Doubtful, but you never know. No. Okay. So we'll do the last bounty. Clear the scavengers den. And um, hopefully, maybe. I'm going to try and make some more videos this week, so i had a bit of a disruption in the schedule lately, but hopefully I'll get back on track and then um, it'll still be in time while the community buffs on for the, the cow level. So I need to find the scavengers thing. I definitely like the piercing, the big grip like that, the piercing darts. Actually, it's the helm that gives you the piercing darts, I think. I'm really not with it this morning. It has been a while since I've played my Witch Doctor, so you'll have to forgive me. Good, so it's not far away. I'm also going to try and do another couple of build videos this week. I've been working on obviously, I mentioned prior my Crusader that's a shield bash. I've got a, war a barb one that I've been working on. I know people have got or had in the past some of these slam sort of ones, but. This one I'm going to try out. It, I don't expect it to be overly successful, but <clears throat> if you don't give it a go, you never know. And we've reached level 55. So we'll head into the scavengers den. as quickly as we can. Maybe. Concentration, these bats trying to keep pain on them is not easy sometimes. This must have been a horde again because there's quite a few of them. <coughs> I 
course I'm gonna go all the way down the way. It's my good sense of direction. I'll definitely have to start thinking about collecting some yellow, <coughs> yellow items again next episode because I'm sure my arm is starting to drop in stats rather quickly since we're jumping levels pretty easily now. Well, so far. <coughs> Speaking of yellow items, we'll just grab some now. Make sure there's no one down here we've missed since we've got to kill everybody in this level. And these guys, who have we got? Oh, okay, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. <laughs> Swayz, Swayz, the Reckoner, Swayzog, something. Yeah, we've still got one baddie somewhere. <laughs> <sighs> been buried. Right, we'll head back to town. This will probably be the end of this video. This has been episode 15. Um, not sure if I'll get another one posted today, but definitely soon. Well and we'll just have a quick look what we've got. Oh. <laughs> a royal ring of grandeur, I'm guessing. Which is good, but okay, it's got some alright stats considering the level, but we uh, could have done with better. But we'll pop that on instead of probably the stolen ring. We might actually give that to our follower. She doesn't seem to have anything too exciting on at the moment. And the rest of it will work with you a little bit later on. Okay, thanks for watching everybody and um, hope to have another video soon. See you next time.